Hi there, welcome to another episode of Harrison Hobbies. Today we are going to be looking at the SOG Q3 Baton uh, multi-tool. So a little bit of background, I guess I've purchased this now maybe about six months ago. I've always carried, you know, multi-tool or pocket knife or, you know, I've always got something on me. The larger things, you know, like the Leathermans and the Gerbers and stuff that I had ended up now, they were kind of in the way, and if something's big and heavy, you're probably not going to carry it, and then even having the nicest tool at home, because it's too big or clunky to carry, means that it's kind of a worthless tool. So, I saw this, I liked the form factor, and actually one of the reasons that I wanted to make this video was there have been several instances now where I've pulled this out in public to, you know, use the screwdriver or knife. People always stop and ask, hey, what is that? And it's such a cool and unique knife here that I figured that it was worth making a video on. Um, so a little bit about this, uh, SOG I guess has four of these in their lineup. Um, the Q1 has a pen and a pair of scissors. Uh, the Q2 has a flashlight and a knife out the end. And then I think it, they, you know, both got some accessories on it. Uh, then there's the Q3. And so this has got, um, it's got the pliers and a bunch of tools that we'll go into in a second here. And then there's the last one being a Q4. And then that one has a bit driver at one end, so it's a lot more uh, focused on fasteners versus this is kind of the jack of all trades. So one of the cool things about this is the fact that it does start out straight here. Uh, and then you can pull it out and goes into plier mode. Um, one of the downfalls of the plier mode is anytime that you start to squeeze or you try to, you know, choke up on something, uh, the handles end up folding in on themselves. So that's one of the downfalls of it. It's pretty easily managed. Uh, I've done a little bit of electrical work with this one. Uh, you know, having the cutter right there is super nice. It's got good alignment there. And then for some of the other tools here, so I mean, it does have the belt clip, so if you do like to clip it on your pants, that works well. It's got the standard blade. Uh, all of these do have lockbacks, so you've got the detent here. You press the detent, and then you can fold the blade whenever you put the blade out. It locks into place and doesn't fold. The thumb grips here are a little bit small, so like the first ones are always really big and nice. And then as you work your way down, they get harder and harder to grab, uh, especially on the side that isn't used very often. Uh, with these, you really it's kind of a two-hand two ordeal. You know, the tools that I do use the most, you got your you know, bottle opener and a little flathead, and then probably, you know, line cutter there, a bigger flathead with another bottle opener. You got a file, and then you got the knife. And then on this side here, you start out with your really, really small flathead screwdriver, and then we work our way down, we end up with Again, this is the side that's super hard to get. Uh, you end up with an awl here, uh, a Phillips, and a, if I can get it, a chisel. So chisel's kind of weird on this. I don't know that I would necessarily feel comfortable using a multi-tool chisel for anything real, but I don't know, maybe it's good for making kindling or something. One of the really cool features of this that you know my Leatherman and Gerber didn't have uh, are the fact that, you know, you see kind of the dog leg here. So, you know, it kind of goes up at an angle. Uh, and so that's whenever you're turning it as a screwdriver, um, the head, the bit here, actually stays center about the axis of rotation of the tool. So that makes it really, really nice and ergonomic if you're trying to screw something in. You know, you can spin it and it stays where it's at. A quick comparison for this yeah, it is a little bit chonky, uh, which, I mean, is par for the course with a multi-tool. Take, you know, the, the squad of a standard one and you stack them on top of each other, and that's effectively what you have here. Um, but, you know, this is the CRKT, I think, Drifter. Yeah, and I mean, this is a de facto. I think, like, I'm pretty sure everyone in my office actually has one of these because they're, like, what, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. They got G10 scales. You know, great knife, crap steel. With the blade out, you know, I mean, it's about the same size to give you reference if you maybe have this one at home. Uh, and then width-wise... Uh, this one is maybe a scale thicker uh, than the G10. And then if we talk like an ultralight or uh, an ultra thin one, you know, no scales, right? This is the, what, uh, SOG Slim Jim. And so, I mean, this thing is just huge compared to this one. I would honestly say that I probably use this maybe, if I carry it every day, I probably use it two to three times per week. It's remarkable. Like if you've never carried a multi-tool on you, I sincerely recommend you you purchase one, right? And I mean, maybe $50 for the SOG is too much. You can get like a Leatherman juice or something for what, like 15 or 20 bucks, but try it out. Uh, it is 
liberating to know that you always have a tool there. You will be amazed at how often it comes in handy. Uh, if you don't like the commitment of bigger tools, the Swiss Tech. So I've accidentally brought this through airport security with me uh, because it looks pretty inconspicuous here. It looks just like a key. Um, but whenever you open this up, you end up with, you know, you knife, serrated knife, bottle opener, screwdriver, flathead, flathead. And then these two, because of their pitch or the, the width, uh, they fit on most Phillips screws also. Having a bottle opener on you at all times in something, you know, so small, right? You don't need a dedicated like carabiner or big fancy bottle opener. It's just on something here that happens to also be a knife and a screwdriver. This was just meant to be kind of a quick review and walk through of this tool, show you kind of hands on how it folds, how it moves. So that's a pretty quick summary. So thanks for watching and check back soon for more videos.